now we're learning the Mishnah on Daf Nun Hey Omid Beis. Now what we have to know is that the Kohanim would divide up into 24 Mishmaros, and every one of the, of the Mishmaros got one week to serve in the Beis HaMikdash. And they, the Seder of which of the Mishmaros would come first and which would come second, etc., etc., is recorded in Divrei Ayom. And each Mishmar would be Makriv the Karbonis Tzibur and the Karbonis Yachid. They would eat the kind of that Mishmar from the whatever they are commanded to eat. They get the R of the Behemos. And this is derived from a possible by Yipur Zion, Vakoin Amakrivis Olas Ish, R Ha'ola Asher Hikriv La Kohen, Lo Yihie. So the Torah says explicitly that the Kohen Amakriv gets the R. The R means the hearts. Now, this applies the entire year. But during Shalosh Regalim, we're going to derive from a posu, the whole system changes. And all the Mishmaros come to serve. They all have a participation during the three Regalim to be Makrim the Karbonis. And we cannot exclude any of the Mishmaros. And this is derived from the Pasuk with regard to the Regalim. In Dvarim Yudches, it says, V'chiyavo alivi me'achad sharechu mikol Yisrael al-makom ha'shayivchar Hashem v'shereis b'shem Hashem al-tav k'chol echav ha'levim ha'omdim shom l'fnei Hashem. So even those Kohanim, and it's not the Zman of them Mishmeres, but on the Chag, they will participate in the Hakrovas HaKorbonos. And Baruch Hashem, there are extra Korbonos for the Rego so that we can get everybody involved. On Chag HaSukas, for example, in addition to the regular Korbonos on a daily basis, the whole year round, they were makriv 70 cows, 70 bulls during the course of Sukkot. On the first day of Sukkot, they brought 13 parim. Then it went down to 12 parim each day in descending order until on the seventh day of Sukkot, they brought Shiva parim. So we went from 13 down to seven. This is all recorded in Parshas Pinchas. And they were makriv each day of Sukkot to Elim, 14 kvasim, and that was all a carbon ola. In addition, there was one sa'ir that was brought daily as a chatas. So now the Mishnah is going to organize for us all the different days of Chag Sukkos, how we divide up the various karbanos of Sukkos amongst the Mishmaros, so that every single Mishmeres will be makriv on every day of Sukkos, Sam Karma, Yontif Arishon Shalchag. On the first day of Sukkot, Hayim Sham Shlosha Esrei Parim. There were 13 Parim. Elim Shnaim Liolas, Sa'ir Echa Lechatos. And that totals 16 Karbonos. And these 16 Karbonos have to be divided up among 24 Mishmaros. One carbon for each Mishmaros. Now, so we have 13, and we have 2 and 1. It's all told 16. Okay. And these 16 carbonos will be brought by the first Mishmeris. Now, according to Divra Yonim, the first Mishmeris is called Yeho Yarif. That's his name. He was the Av of that Mishpoch. Okay. So now, Nishtayu Shomar Basar Kvasim, we haven't accounted yet for the 14 Kvasim that were brought as an Ola. And we've covered 16 Mishmaros. And there were 24 Mishmaros. So 60 minus 24 is how much? Is 8, correct? And now we have 14 Kvasim to be divided up amongst 8 Mishmaros. So by Yom Rishon, 
on the first day of Sukkot that there were eight Mishmaras that haven't uh, participated because they weren't part of the 16. Is Shisha Makrivim Shnaim Shnaim. So six of the Mishmaros would each be Makriv two. So two times six is 12. And how many did we have left? We had 14. Vashar Echad Echad. So the two Mishmaros that would be Makriv, each one, one Kevins. Vayom Hasheni, on the second day of the Chag, they were Makriv, one par minimum. And that means that they were, out of 16, there were 15 Karbonos. That would divide up amongst the 15 Mishmaros. Now we have nine Mishmaros left. And they would have to divvy up the 14 plus to make sure that every Mishmaros gets, an, gets a participation. So Chamicha Makrivim Shnaim Shnaim. And that accounts for 10. Bashar, we're left with four Mishmaros. Echad Echad. Each one would bring one Kevins. Bayom Ashlishi. Now we're down by one more par. And we're up to 14 Karbonos instead of 16. So the 14 Karbonos would cover 14 Mishmaros. Now we have 10 Mishmaros left out of the 24. Our Ba, four of them would be Makriv Shnaim Shnaim. Each one of these four would bring two Karbonos, which is eight. Eight Kvasim. Bashar. Now we have six Mishmaros left. Echad Echad. Each one would bring one kevus. The Yomar V, on the fourth day of Sukkot, we subtract another par, so we're down to 13 karbonos. From 16, we went down to 13. And now, 13 mishmaros would be able to bring, respectively, each one of those karbonos. Now there are 10 mishmaros that haven't been makriv. And we have 14 kvasim to divide up amongst 10 mishmaros. Shlosha makrivim shnaim shnaim. And that's going to account for six kvasim. Vashar, we still have eight mishmaros. Echad echad. Each one would bring one kevins because we're left with eight kvasim. By Yom Hashmini, on the eighth day, again, we subtract one par. We're now down to 12 karbonos. We went from 16 down to 12. So we have 12 Mishmaros. Each one will bring one of those Karbonos. Now we have 12 Mishmaros that haven't been Makriv. And we have 14 Kvasim to be divided up amongst 12 Mishmaros. Is Shnayim, two Mishmaros, Makrivim, Shnayim, Shnayim, would each bring two Karbonos. That's four. So we subtract four Kvasim. And we're left with 10 Mishmaros and 10 Kvasim. Bayom Ashishi. Now we subtract another power. We're down to 11 carbonos from 16 down to 11. So 11 mishmaros would take care of those 11 carbonos. We're left with 13 mishmaros that haven't been covered yet. And they could be makrim the 14 kvasim. Echad makrim shnayim. One will get the opportunity to bring two kvasim. Vashar. Now we have 12, 12 mishmaros. Echad echad. Now we have 12 Kvasim left. We, 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 we directed two out of the 14 Kvasim to two Mishmaros. And now we're left with 10 Mishmaros and 10 Kvasim. Echad Echad. Bayom Ashvi. Now we're down to 10 Karbonos. That would cover 10 Mishmaros. We're left with 14 Mishmaros that haven't been covered. And we have 14 Kvasim. So that worked out beautifully. Kulam Shabbat. Every single Mishmaros is Makru the same amount of kvasim. By Yom HaShmini, on Shmini Atzeres, they were makrav only one par, one ayel, seven kvasim, and one sa'ir. There's not enough korbanos for all the mishmaros. Is chazru lepayis. Then they had to do a lottery. Give a regol, like they did on the other regol, when there was a limited amount of korbanos, we had to invite all the mishmaros to participate, then they did a pious. So they couldn't be makriv lefi seder amishmaros as they did during Chag HaSukas. And now the final summary of this. Mishnah Omru, the Chacham said, Misha hikriv parim hayom, a mishmeres that was makriv, it's par for that day. 
lo yakriv lemachar, el achosin chalila. And they go through an entire seder that goes around and around, so to speak. In other words, the seder of the mishmaros in the hakrovas parim would be that on Yom Rishon, when there were 13 mishmaros rishonos, who would be makriv the 13 parim of that first day, the other mishmaros would be makriv the elim, the sair, and the kvasim. On the second day, the seder of the hakrov of the 12 parim, because we went down from 13 to 12, we begin with the 13th Mishmeres on the list in, in Divrei Ayom, which he has here as El Yashiv. Okay? And then El Yashiv would begin the 11 Mishmer- Mishmeros, and they would bring the Parim, and so forth and so forth. And the Gemara says, Nemo Masnisim, Rebbe, how we assume that this Mishnah reflects the sheet of Rebbe, the low Rabbanon, against the Rabbanon, the Sanya, we have a rice that records the Machlok between Rebbe and the Chachamim, par haba biyom shmini, meaning on that shmini atzeres. And it was one par. Bitchila mafisano. They set up a lottery amongst all the Mishmaros, because this is like the beginning of the Karbonos of that day, I mean, the special Karbonos. And we're not going to say that Yakrivu Osa Achas Me Osin Shte Mishmar Shalo Akriv Bechab Kap Shlishis. In other words, there was a Mishmeres that did not get its opportunity to be Makriv Chag Bepam Shlishis, that there were two Mishmaros at the end that were makriv parim only twice and not three times. All the other mishmaros got three rounds. Again, you have to see this uh, very detailed table over here, which I have. I don't know if you have a table. I'm sure you have a table in your gemara as well. So according to Rebbe, that's the first opinion quoted here in this b'risa, we're not going to give first bids to that those two Mishmaros that did not get a third round of Hatrova because Shmini Atzeres is called a regal Mishmaros. We're only going to have a pious amongst two Mishmaros, that did not get a chance to be makriv a par on the third round on Sukkot. Osa Osa. And one of those two Mishmaros would be chosen to be Makri that par. Alan Mishnah says that on Shmini Atzeres, they would do a pious. And that pious included all the Mishmaros. That reflects the sheet of Rebbe against Rabbana. The Gemara answers, no. I feel the same Rabbana, I can square with Rabbana. Atu shtei Mishmaros lo afusei boy. After all, you have two Mishmaros that didn't get the third round during Sukkot. And which one of those two Mishmaros is going to be mocking the Parechon of Shmini Atzeres? We're going to need a pious amongst the two Mishmaros. When our Mishnah says that there was a pious, it doesn't mean there was a pious amongst all the Mishmaros, but rather there was a pious amongst two Mishmaros, reflecting the Sheet Rabbana. Keman Azlaha de Tanya. Kol HaMishmaros Shonos Umishalshlos. All the Mishmaros would be mocking a par, not once, twice, but thrice. Chutz mishnei mishmaros, shirak shonos ve mishalshos. There are only two mishmaros that would get two rounds of a par, but not a third round of a par. Name a Rebbe Velora Bonum. Since the Brisa writes two mishmaros that did not participate in our krav on the third round, According to Rabbanon, there was a pious amongst those two Mishmaros. So one of those two Mishmaros certainly was Makar Mapar. Says the Gemara, Afil Tem Rabbanon, Milo Shilshu Beparachad. We're not talking about all the parim, including that of Shemini Atzes. We're only talking about Pariachad. And even the Rabbanon would agree that there are two Mishmaros that did not participate in the third round of Pariachad. So the Gemara now asks, Umaika Mashmon, what is this price of coming to teach me? No, it's now that you're saying the b'risa reflects even the sheet of the Rabbanon. So what's the finish of the b'risa? 
If we're talking about Pare Chagasukos, then it's partial based on the Cheshman, the calculation, there are two Mishvaros that couldn't be Bakr, Pam Shlishis. Of Kamash Malagor answers, Misha Hikriv Pare Mayom, Lo Yakriv Lemach, El Achosrim Chalila. The din of our Mishnah is teaching us that those who were makriv the parim today would not be considered first on the list to be makriv tomorrow, but rather chosim chalila. We go on in the list of mishmaros to the next set of mishmaros. Now the Mishnah had established that on all days of Chagasukos, they were makriv seventy parim. Omar Abu Lazar, Hani Shivim Parim Keneged Mi. What is the Hashkafic significance of the number 70? Keneged Shivim Umas The globe is populated by 70 nations. And on this holiday, the Goyim need the favorable judgment of Sukkot no less than the Jews do because Allah Chagni Donu Allah and the Goyim need the water no less than we do. So we're makriv parim as a kind of kapara on behalf of the 70 nations so that the rains will flow and fall from the heavens on the entire, on the entire globe. But when we get to Shemini Atzeres, Har Yochid is only one par Lama, why? He says, It's for that special, unique nation of Israel so a human king will tell his avadim, you know, it's the last day, let's make a big blast, a gigantic banquet. on the other hand, the king of kings, he says, make me a small banquet, one part, because I want to benefit from you. I want to have a, per, per, a, a private intimacy with you. So in all the days of the Chag, when the Karbanos are Keneged, Shivim, Umos, then we have large numbers. But on the last day, it's going to be God and, and the people of Israel. And I want them to bring one pot as a Karban for the Jewish people. And that's called a Seuda Ketan. There's an entire discussion here in the name of the Ben Chai. I'll just read the one line that I think maybe captures the meaning of what he says. That you know, if Kali Israel bringing many, many korbanos, it's like, oh, wow, you know, uh, God certainly will appreciate the, the, you know, the lavish banquet. But no, the Jewish people, they don't need a suit of know. Like the Yuma Solom. All they need is a Suda Kana because God loves the people of Israel even with a Suda Kana, one carbon. The, the Goyim don't realize what the, the destruction of the Migdash, what they lost. That when the Migdash stood, and on Shmini, on, on, on Sukkot, they brought 70 parim. And that was the kapara for the people of the world, the goyim, the asha. But now there's a kurban abayis, mi mechapar leim. They don't even have that kapara. I'm going to try to fit in the Mishnah. If you guys can stay, that's great. If you can't, that's fine. I know we're going over time, but, you know, tomorrow we want to finish the Maseth if we can. Now, we said that during the Avod of the Beis HaMikdash, every Mishmaris got one week. And during the Regolim, each of the Mishmaris, all of them would come and be makriv and take part in the Avodah Sakurbanos. And the Kohanim would receive the Basar and the Oros of the Karbanos that they were makriv. And now the Mishnah wants to discuss the Mishmaros Shavos Regolim. On three occasions, meaning the three regolim, all the mishmaros were on the same, on the same level. They mure haregolim, and the gemara is going to immediately point out this makes no sense. The emurim who go on the mizbeach, they don't go to the kohen. So how are you equating the kohen? 
but rather bechiluk lechem upon him, lechem upon him, which means that if Shabbos coincides with the regel, and there were twelve chalas of last week that they took off the shulchan, and they were divided up now amongst all the mitzvahs equal, if it was yom. Batzeres on Chag Shmuel. So let's say Shabbos is Chal on Shmuel's. So in addition to the fact that the Kohen would receive the Lechem upon him because it's Yom Shabbos, they would also get the special carbon of Atzeres of Shmuel's, and that is the Shtei Lechem, and that would also be divided. And each Kohen would get his portion in the Lechem upon him. Omer Lo Halech. Matzah. Now, there's a fundamental difference between the lechem upon him and the shtayal lechem. The lechem upon him was made of matzah, whereas the shtayal lechem was made of chametz. And they had to separate between the matzah and the chametz. So they would say to the kohenim, here's your lechem upon him, and it's made of matzah. Then they would give him his chalik and the shtayal lechem. They would say, hey, lech, take your portion of the shtayal lechem, which is chametz. And the reason why it was critical that we notify the Kohenim is because any Kohen, each Kohen, has to receive from both of them. And the law is that a Kohen can't swap. He can't say to his friend, you know what? You'll get my chilek in one mincha and I'll take your chilek in the other mincha. But each one had to be guaranteed that he got his chilek in the lechem upon him and in the shteya lechem. Mishmar Shizmano Kavua, if we have a Mishmar that this Yontif was actually his week, the week of the Mishmaris, is then Makrivim Tvidim Nidovin Nidovas, Mishar Kabbana Satsibur, Umakrivis Akol. And these last words, Makrivis Akol, the Gemara is going to try to figure out, but the basic point of the end of the Mishnah is that we divide up the Karbonos of the Yantav into two categories. There are the Karbonos that we would have been bringing the whole year round, like the Tmidim or Nidav Nidavis or a Karbon Tzibur, and that, the Mishmar that fell on that Yantav, that was their week of Mishmaris, that's they get those Karbonos. But as far as the additional Karbonos, the unique Karbonos of Regel, that goes Equally to all the mishmaris. Okay, then this, this is where we're going to stop here on the bottom of Nunheim and Bays. Approximately how many lines? One, two, three, four, five lines up from the bottom. And the Gemara is going to immediately ask, How can you talk about dividing up the Emurim? The Emurim are burnt on, on the Mishmar. Okay, then, thank you so much. Thank you.